Alright guys, Fred here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can increase your overall accuracy in Overwatch. Now right off the bat, what I want to let you guys know is the most effective way to actually increase your accuracy is to practice. Now what I mean by this is practicing in the firing range just about as much as you can. Now when I say like as much as you can, I don't mean like having that take away from your enjoyment time of you actually playing the game and like taking this game like way too seriously. I'm just saying whenever you have some off time in this game, hop into the firing range and spend your time doing that. Now just from the last couple days of me hopping in here consistently and practicing, whether it's me waiting for friends or me just in here to practice, I've gained probably about 15% accuracy on average per game as Tracer, because Tracer is who I mainly play as, and I've gone from about consistently 32% accuracy to upwards of 46 to 50. Like, I, I am really starting to get more accurate with her, and the changes are being very apparent. So this is something that I can't stress enough is for you guys to hop in here as frequently as you can. Now, as important as practicing can be, there are definitely other factors that come into play when you're trying to improve your accuracy. Now, the main thing that increases, uh, increases accuracy has got to be the sensitivity. Now, for me, this isn't necessarily the best sensitivity that works, but it's manageable for now. And what I use is 65 on top for uh, horizontal and 35 for vertical. And another thing that you can change is the reticle. Now, there are multiple different choices you can have, whether it is the, uh, the type of reticle or the color, as well as you can change the bloom. And the bloom also is a very large factor, at least for me, as you can see here. When the bloom is on, it makes it so your crosshairs expand as you fire, while when you turn it off, what it does is it keeps your crosshairs in one position. What I, uh, what I really like about it staying in one position is that it's not as distracting, and it, it's much easier to know exactly where the center of your screen is, so you can always be aiming where you want to be, and you're not kind of like guessing where the center of your screen is when they're expanded, like mid-fire. Now, another thing that you want to try and practice while you're practicing is you want to be able to flick your crosshair directly to where you want to be looking. For example, let's say you want to flick your crosshair directly to the robot's head as I'm doing here. If you go past it, then that's a sure sign that your sensitivity is higher than it needs to be. And if it's lower, then you won't quite make it to the enemy's head. This mainly comes into play when it comes to horizontal sensitivity rather than vertical. At least with me, I like to keep my vertical sensitivity about half of what my horizontal is. This is so my crosshair can almost always be at headshot level for most average sized characters. Now, when it comes to practicing and like which character you would like to use, it really is completely up to preference, but it depends on what type of character you're looking to get better with, like improve your accuracy with in specifics. Now, if you want to just improve overall accuracy, it's probably better to play as, I would say, Tracer or Soldier because it helps you get better at both close, medium, and kind of medium long range engagements. Well, if you want to just be able to flick better, or like how I was saying earlier, like flick right to the head, if you want to get better at that, I would highly recommend playing as, let's say, like Zenyatta or something and try and get as many headshots as possible. He will also help when it comes to leading your targets and things such as that. Well, Widowmaker, like you saw earlier, um, she's very good at also being able to flick the targets. They're probably my top two for practicing that I use as well as Tracer. Um, and that, that's really all I have to say for today's video. I hope this did help you guys. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that you want me to answer down in the comment section, go ahead and leave a comment or something. Just go ahead and let me know. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Jeanne.